Writing Course Development for English 116 Students Unit 2, A Life Story Unit 2, A Life Story Objectives After completing this unit, students will be able to Learn the usage of ago for describing past events Identify the correct position of verbs in a sentence and write guided paragraphs with the help of given information. Unit 2, A Life Story Language Usage Ago With ago, we always use past verbs. Look at these sentences. Ten years ago, his family moved to Muscat. Maz joined a bank a few months ago. He left school five years ago. Remember, with a go, we always use past verbs. He left. This is a past verb, school five years ago. I saw Faisal ten minutes ago. Was and were are both past forms of the verb be. Look at these sentences. Um Kalthum was one of the most famous Arab singers. Her family were poor farmers. Something to remember. Was and were are both past forms of the verb be. Sentence building. Make sentences from these words. Then write the sentences in the table. We have A, B, C, D. And all of these go into the chart listed below. Remember, it begins with who, the verb, what and where, and when. So, example A. Habiba returned to Kuwait a few weeks ago. Example B. My brother left school eight years ago. Example C. My family moved to Jeddah six months ago. And example D. Salem was born in a small town in Sudan 23 years ago. Please notice that this chart follows the following format. You begin with who, such as Habiba, my brother, my family, Salem. We then go on to the verb. Returned, left, moved, was born. We then move on to what and where, such as to Kuwait, school, to Jeddah, in a small town in Sudan. And we end the sentence with when, such as a few weeks ago, eight years ago, six months ago, and 23 years ago. Now, let's begin our guided paragraphs. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of the information given below in order to complete the paragraph on the next slide. We have name, where she was born, the date she was born, where she was educated, her qualifications, such as a BA degree in English, whether she's married or single, and her work. These are the content areas giving you information. Name, where she was born, date, education, qualifications, whether she's married or single, and where she has worked. Let us begin the paragraph. Now, one thing I want you to do is go back and forth between these slides. I will give you the answers. Jamila Khatun was born in Doha in Qatar 26 years ago. She began school when she was five years old in Doha in 1965. Her family moved to Dubai and she went to secondary school there. Six years ago, Jamila finished secondary school and went to Al Ain University to study English. She graduated in 1983 and in the same year she was married. Jamila began work two years ago as a teacher in Al Ain Secondary Technical School. Now let's take a look at the assignment for Unit 2. Read the information given below and write a paragraph about Saudisa, about a hundred words. His name is Saudisa. He was born in Taif, Saudi Arabia. In 1985. He was educated from 1985 to 1995 in a school in Taif. Also from 1997 to 2000 in a school in Jeddah. 
Between 2000 and 2005, he went to King College University in Abha. His qualification was a BA in English Literature. And he was married in 2008. He had one daughter in 2010. Since 2010, he's been working with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Now, something to look at for yourself. When did you start and leave these schools? I want you to complete the table given below. You have your primary, preparatory, and secondary school. Please note from and to before completing your table.